Hey all, Dr. Alejandro here, and welcome back to a Frozen Flame video, where today I will be fighting the new boss, the Dragon's Grove biome boss, the Hollow Golem. This just, this new update just released on Friday, and I was super excited to be able to download it so I could uh, play it and stream it. So the actual boss fight was happening on stream, and I recorded it while streaming so that I could show it to people on stream and then also use it to show people on YouTube who might want to take a look at what the boss is like before they go in or see how someone else did it. If you like videos like this, please hit the like button, please subscribe, helps out so much, and let's get into the boss fight. Alright, so let me quickly go over the equipment I'm bringing in with me. I'm bringing all three main weapons. I'm bringing my metal two-handed sword, I am bringing my metal staff and my metal bow so I can figure out what is needed to fight the boss. Like, Because different bosses have different weaknesses, so having them is good. Three different types of resistance food. I'm probably going to take the physical resistance when I go in. I'm also taking the pickaxe just in case, because it is a golem. Maybe the pickaxe might actually do something to it. I'm curious about it. Oh, that's right. We also get the extra stamina from all the rest of that. That's also helpful. I forgot about the wonderful rest stamina boost. Uh, I have the new antidote potion and the cold potions. Just in case. I'm using fire rings right now. I can switch my rings around depending on what the boss is doing. Because uh, maybe even curse resistance might be useful here. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to need. And in case it is poison, I'm going to switch to both poison rings and the bone mask to make sure I'm good for poison. If it's fire, I have the two fire flame rings and the cold potion. That'll Those will work out pretty well. But I think we're ready to go in and actually take this boss out. So we'll start with physical resist food because generally that's good against everything. Now let's see what we got this. 6,000 HP golem. Okay, what's the secret for this boss? That doesn't do anything. Do I have to kill the little guys first? Maybe you have to hit it with the little guys? Come on. Why aren't you firing? Okay, boss is huddled up. Let me kill all the little guys first. We'll take a look, see... Because before, I never would have thought that the bosses had, like, a secret to fighting them until the second boss, where there actually was a planned method, an easier method to fight the boss. Yeah, so you kill the little guys, and then the golem comes up. All right. Oh, I was in the middle of a shot. I screwed it up. I just want to try this. Okay, no special. It was a golem, so I was like, all right, let, let's try. All right, you, you don't take any, you don't have any special weakness here. You're using up a lot of my stamina and dodging, buddy. I don't like it. But not too bad. As long as you, you just dodge and move, and you and it's not too bad. I'm just hitting with the staff right now to get the dot damage. Ooh, I did get hit there. Oh, and he resets into these phases. Okay. Okay. So these little phases. I'm gonna try the uh, the sword and see if the sword does. Sword should do good damage if the. Uh, Boated good damage. I'm just... I haven't fought this guy full melee form yet. So we'll see how it goes. But the sword is probably going to be important. Alright, the speed is a little tough. Okay, speed is really tough. Because you can't dodge while you're dealing with that stuff. Alright. So this is not a boss for using that. Oh, 
Fall works pretty well, though. I think this is definitely a bow boss. Bow or staff. Or maybe, like, a, a one-handed melee weapon that you can actually dodge with. But with uh, the two-handed sword, you the dodge timing is so hard to manage. But yeah, this is doing re pretty reasonable damage. I want to use two-handed sword because it would get a lot of crits, but... Ouch. Got stuck there. Perfect. You clipped me, buddy. Yeah, it's just a kind of standard dodge button here. Ooh, baby. I got stuck on that. Yeah, hitting him with the bow is working pretty well. Yeah, this seems to be a very good method here. Staff works as well, but even with the dot damage on the staff, unless the enemy is weak to the fire, the damage on the staff isn't going to keep up with the bow damage. Yes, yeah, so this isn't really as bad. The attack pattern's not too difficult to deal with. At least with ranged weapons. With uh, melee, it's a little tougher, but... Ranged weapons, easy. Oh, he's switching. Oh, he's putting poison on the ground. Ow, I was eating. I was uh, aiming, I should say. I couldn't dodge that. Once he goes into his next rest formation, once he go, uh, switches phases again, I'll probably switch. And the poison puddles are permanent, too. I'll put eat another food once he, uh... Once he goes into his rest formation again. Okay, maybe it's not permanent. It's just one at a time. Ouch, just screwed that up. I would like to eat again. Ooh, baby. I stepped right into that. Maybe there's something to do with this. Get him to hit it? Nope, it's gone now. It feels like if I get him to hit this, it'll... It might do something. No? Because I'm not taking any damage. Oh, it is poison. Okay, it is poison. Oh, it's curse. It's a cursed area. Okay, I got it. So that's curse damage, not poison damage. All right. I was trying to see if there's like a special thing you need to do to fight to fight him. Like if there was a special little thing. But no, he just puts uh, curse petals down. Which is fine. The ball. This is only the third boss out of I don't know what six or seven bosses I think that are going to be in the game. So they don't have to have be really really tough in these earlier biomes. They can have more advanced patterns and things to do later on. I just figured there'd be something interesting here, especially with the second boss. Ouch. Had to get the, had to get food back in me so I could, uh... Oh, he, he's not even resetting. I thought he was going to go back into another shielded phase, but he hasn't gone back shielded again. Ouch. Don't stand in the curse. Standing on the curse is bad. But yeah, with the bow, this has been no problem at all. It's got a little bit longer, and I don't even have to, re don't have to repair the bow. You just keep dodging around in the circle, and we're fine. He's almost done. Yeah, it's not too bad of a boss. Pretty pretty easy. Once you have the right pattern. Two hand a two-handed weapon is not the way to do it. We got it. Level 33. Nice, nice. It was just it was a lot of kiting in a circle, using the bow. 
bow is probably the best option here staff uh staff and or use that we can't use it yet but this is what it told us we were going to get an enchanting cable blueprint from this so nice and that's going to be the portal core to the next place once the next biome unlocks yeah no this boss wasn't too bad at all uh maybe one-handed melee weapons will be good against it but the attack speed of the sword is just too slow I'm actually thinking, I I may decide to fight him again and bring the spear and see how the spear goes against them. Because that would actually be kind of interesting to look at as an idea, how the spear works. But overall, not too bad here. We're just seeing what they give us next in the Cursed Isles and what kind of boss we might start facing then. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all in the next one.